Hi, first grade. I got up today and I said, if we were in class together, if we were at school, what would we be doing today? And I thought, you know what, it's springtime and we would probably be doing some springtime art in all of our classrooms. And today was a rainy spring day, which just reminds us that springtime is when lots of rain comes so that the plants can grow, right? Because spring comes after winter when the plants have been resting and spring brings the water and the sunshine so the plants can grow. Anyway, today I thought it'd be fun to do some springtime art and you probably already saw what it was. So let's talk about what you need for your supplies uh, to, make, to make this art project. It's gonna be about birds. I'll show you one that I almost finished next, but let's talk about your supplies. So you're gonna need some white paper and I'd like to use oil, sorry, I would like to use watercolors today. So I'm gonna use construction paper, but paper from your copy machine, your printer works too. You probably don't have a copy machine, but you have a printer and that paper works too. This one happens to be construction paper. You're gonna need a pencil because I like to start with pencil and then go over it with a darker line. Crayons and then watercolors. Now, some of you got to bring your watercolors home from school. So if you did, it's perfect for this art project. And then I have a couple things over here that are optional. This one is, it says a circle pattern. So because my bird art today is based around circles, I got something from my kitchen to draw my circles so it looked just a really nice shape. So I got one of these measuring cups. Now this one is big, so I had to use a, a bigger container. But for your paper today, I got this one third cup from my kitchen. That's the size of it. And I'm gonna use that to draw the birds on this size paper. And then a Sharpie. So once I drew with pencil, I decided to go over it with black lines to make that contrast between the color and the paper and the lines and the shapes. So here's one that I started and I wanna show you the difference. So this first bird here, I used Sharpie. I drew it first in pencil and then I went over in Sharpie. The second bird, can you tell what I used? I used crayon and I like that black mark too. Now the other ones are in pencil. So I wanted to show you the difference between uh, the lines and the types of material I used. So if you want one like that, Sharpie. If you want one like that, crayon, black crayon. And then if you like these other three birds, I drew those in pencil and I didn't go over them at all. Now to add the color, it's watercolor. If you want to use watercolor today, don't use any markers because markers will bleed once the water from the watercolor gets on your paper, okay? So I'll go ahead and leave this one right here so you can see it while we, we do it together. Okay, so we're gonna start our art together. I'm gonna start with my paper and I'm gonna start with my pencil, okay? Now, these birds are supposed to be funny and they're supposed to be uh, tall without really a body, just a head and long legs. You probably saw that. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my circle pattern to draw my birds. And I wanna get about five birds on here. I think the picture that I saw on Google was actually like six or seven birds. But for our art, I think, and for our paper, let's try five. So I got five on that one and I got five on that one. So I'm gonna start with my circle pattern to get my first bird. And did you notice also that I put the birds in different places so that they would all fit? So one of them is kind of a pie, and then I went lower, higher, lower, higher, so that I could get all five birds on there. Okay, so I drew my first circle using my pattern. Now I couldn't go all the way around, so I'll have to fill that in. But there's my first circle. And my next circle is gonna go a little bit lower. And this just gives me a nice round shape. And then I'll do a tall one and then a little bit lower. And then one more. Okay, and now I have my five circle shapes. Now if you just wanted to draw them by yourself, you can do that too, because you know how to draw a circle. And it doesn't have to be perfect, because remember, it's art. Okay, so once I get my bodies on there, 
I'm going to finish my circle because I use my circle pattern. Okay, so this is the way to draw in pencil first, and then you can go over with details your darker color, either your Sharpie or your crayon. So now I'm going to move on to Sharpie. Now I didn't start with Sharpie in case I made a mistake. Okay. So I'm gonna move this over into my lap here and then I'll show it when I'm done. So I'm gonna go over my circles with Sharpie. Sharpie makes a nice dark line. You know, you've used Sharpies before. The rest of the details of the bird, I'm gonna draw in Sharpie too. You can draw it in pencil if you prefer, in case you make any mistakes. If I was in class right now, I would tell my class to start pencil and then go over with crayon or with Sharpie. Not with marker, because we're going to add water and the marker will bleed. You know what that means? The color runs. Okay, so there's my five bird bodies. Next, I'm going to do the legs. And the legs are really easy. Just those long straight lines. You can make them kind of spread out. And then I'm going to show you how I do the foot. Okay, so I'm going to draw down almost to the bottom of the page. And this one I had it come out a little bit to the side. And then I'm going to add a V, an upside down V, to make the feet. So I went around the leg. Around, sorry, not around the leg. I went to the line of the leg and then I put lines on each side. Now you can have your own strategy for that though, for drawing, to, to draw the bird foot. Okay, so I'm gonna draw the rest on my feet. And let me show you how I do the, the V foot. So I go down, down, and then the line in the middle is already there. Down, down, a diagonal line, there you go. Here's my next bird, and I'm going to draw these feet below. Those went lower, the tall bird. I'll put this down here, and then I'll show you again. This one's going to be my short bird. Now, if you need to slow down, go ahead and put me on pause. But there's all my legs. So my birds are taking up most of my paper now. Now I'm gonna add the detail to their faces. Now let's look at my sample here. On this one, I have the bird looking at you. And did you notice that I am using triangles and circles and squares to make their faces? So on this first bird, I'm going to do it just like this one. So I'm going to draw dark eyes, just big circle eyes, and I'm going to draw a triangle that points down, just like that, triangle that points down. And then I'm going to add the, the wings and the feathers. They kind of look like ruffles. So I'm going to go out each side, just loopy loops right there. And that one even ran into my other bird. And then at the top, kind of looks like a rooster. So there's my first bird with the bird details. Now the next bird's my favorite one because it wears glasses. To draw the glasses, I'm gonna start with the, the squares first. So right in the middle of the bird head, I'm gonna draw squares. In my class, Julian wears glasses and Chase wears glasses. Okay, now I'm gonna add the circles for their eyes inside the squares, and I'm gonna draw lines where the eyeglasses go around their ears, and the line in the middle too, so the glasses are connected. And then I'm gonna draw my triangle with the point down and on this one, there's even like a little line there that's supposed to just mean it's like a chubby bird. It's not supposed to be a face, like not a smile. 
because birds don't have faces like ours. So that's just supposed to be it's a chubby bird. And then I'm going to add the feathers the same way. Ruffly feathers on each side. And at the top. There you go. Okay, second bird. Now I'm on the third bird, the tall bird. And look at this. This bird is actually singing and it's facing the other bird. So first I'm going to do that beak. The way that I do that beak is I go out with a triangle and then out with another triangle, just like that. Out with a triangle pointing towards the other bird. And I'm going to give it one eye because it's the side of the bird. And then the feather or the wing is over there and on the top. There we go. Okay, now I'm on my fourth bird. On my fourth bird, the wings change a little bit. Do you see that? So I've got triangle shaped wings. And they kind of point up. So triangle up. Triangle up, smaller eyes, and a triangle with the point down. And this bird only had one feather at the top because the wings were there on the triangles. How's yours look? I bet it looks good. Okay, last bird. Last bird looks like it's talking to that bird. And I'm going to have to be careful how I get my my bird beak in there because I don't have a lot of room. So let's see. I'm just going to go up like that. So I made it a little bit smaller. Open and talking to the other bird. And then the feather is a ruffle on the body with a line down it. And a ruffle at the top. You could even do a ruffle tail if you wanted to. Oh, I'm missing an eye. I got to go back and add my eye to that last bird. I call it springtime because the birds flew south for the winter and they're back now. And I don't know if you've seen them in your neighborhood, but they're all over my neighborhood and they're even in the backyard and they're chirping and singing. So let's draw those musical notes. The way that I draw a musical note, it's the letter D. The letter D and I fill it in. And then I'm gonna go do two that are connected. So I'm gonna go D Draw a line over, down, and another D. And it makes it look like the birds are singing. You could draw another note over here if you wanted to, just to add some decorations, because birds sing. Okay, now it's time for me to add my color. This is the best part. So I have my water, and I have my watercolor, I think I'll move it right over here. Now the way that I started with my colors is I just I just put them in this order, but you could do any order you want. You could do the order of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, because we have five birds, five colors, and I thought it would look good if they were all different colors. But you might have your own idea about that, and that's okay because artists think differently. They don't have to be alike all the time. So I'm gonna add yellow to my first bird because I like my color pattern and the great thing about sharpies is that they don't bleed so when you put paint over them they hold on to their color if you used a marker a black marker it's uh, bleeds because it, the marker is made out of water so when you add water to it it bleeds so I'm going to paint over these now while I had my yellow out I'm gonna go and paint all the beaks yellow because I have my yellow out. So I'm gonna go to the beaks right now and add yellow. I hope you guys have your watercolor to do this. Now, if you don't have any watercolors from school that you took home, I got these at CVS. CVS has them. CVS is really near my house. They might even have them at Safeway or at Bel Air or Raley's. I know they have them at Walmart though. Nice watercolors for some nice art. Now remember, when you use watercolor, the, the less 
water you use, the darker your paint will be. So if you want a dark color, don't use a lot of water. Just use a lot of paint. And I went out of my line a little bit there, but that's okay. The other color will cover. The other paint will probably cover the yellow because yellow is a light color. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my next bird. My next bird is gonna be orange. So I'm cleaning my paintbrush. And I'm going to orange. And I'm gonna use a lot of orange so that I get dark orange to show up, not a lot of water. Now I'm gonna try to stay out of the glasses this time. When I did it this time, I put the orange inside the glasses, but I'm gonna try a little different effect. I'm gonna to try to go around the orange, around the glasses, so that the inside stays white, like our eyes. I sure miss doing art with you guys. The next art we're gonna do, and Mrs. Curtis might even do this with you, is some planets and solar system art because we're having some fun learning about space and the solar system and I think drawing the planets would be fun. My One of my Zoom groups we drew the one of the planets we drew Saturn and that was fun because Saturn has that ring around it. Okay yeah so it worked out how I wanted it I kept the, the white out of the glasses. I think that looks good. Okay, guys, now I just looked at the length of my video and I'm at like 16 minutes. That's a pretty long video. So I'm gonna stop here, but you know what to do to finish your spring art. And when you're done with it, I hope you take a picture and send it to your teachers because we would love to see that. All right, thanks for joining me today for some spring art. Hope I get to see yours.